Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sea Dream from Stamperia. This is a mini album project that I'm doing for Scrap and Create. And that was my cat making all that noise. Uh, you can get all your supplies at Scrap and Create. There's a link down below. And there will also be a link down below for a cutting guide for this project. Um, so, we did our cover last time. We still have some things to do on the inside of the album. Um, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, we had already matted the inside front cover, but we do need to mat the inside back cover. And I have already picked out mats for that. So let's go ahead and do that. And I also set aside, let me show you, uh, this page in the 8x8 and the, um, actually it's probably going to be this page, the 8x8 and the 12x12. Uh, those are going to be the co the back covers for the large and small albums. I just I was starting to get nervous that I was going to run out of um, paper, so I wanted to get all the mats done and have the paper set aside for that back cover, so I kind of have an idea what I'm working with in terms of inserts and anything else we need to do. left I, um, some flowers and things that we might want to use. Um, these here are going to be two dimensional to go two dimen two o o dimensional to go in the middle. You wouldn't be able to close the book, but we still have some of these little flat ones that we may be able to use. Don't know yet. Okay, let me show you how I did this one. This was one sheet of the twelve by twelve that I cut to the height that I needed, which um, you'll have to measure yours to be sure. Everybody's is different because your cutter may be different than mine or whatever, but um, I cut mine, looks like eight and a quarter. So I cut a strip eight and a quarter, and then I cut the pocket piece from the far left side, and I cut the flat piece from the far right side, and then the piece that was in the middle is going to the pocket. Okay. And this is just art glitter glue, the same glue that I use always for doing my mats. You could use this for construction as well. It works just fine. The only reason I don't is um, it's just faster for me to demonstrate using tape. Although I'm fine with tape too. I mean, just. As far as adhesives go, a lot of it's personal preference. And this one is a little narrow. Um, yeah, I've got a little wider border around it just because I wanted to make sure I had enough paper to get all three mats out of this one sheet so that I could have the continuous design. this one next. You want to make sure you line these up. You know, so if you have to trim, like if one of them's a little long, make sure that, you know, if you're going to trim them, don't trim the bottom off one, the top off another, because that'll get your mats out of, out of whack. And you don't need to put much, if any, glue on the leading edge, the part that's going in the pocket. It'll just make your life more difficult if you do. And you don't really need it. I'll just put a tiny bit there. Just checking that to make sure it's straight because I 
I've got a lot of glare on this white from my lights that I'm recording. I know I tell you guys all the time, but I really like these little flexible metal rulers. I've got them linked down below. They're, they're like a buck or something. I don't, I don't remember. Maybe they're a little more, but they're cheap either way. But they're great for burnishing in the pockets. Again, making sure I line up this text. And if it's slightly off, okay, but best if it's not. Okay. It looks really nice. Okay. Such a pretty collection. Okay, there's that. Now we have this page. Originally we've been calling it page four, but then I turned it around it, it's now page three. And we're going to do the envelope stack, which you will have seen in the um, walkthrough. Now the one thing I, I like to trim this pointed bit off of my envelopes, so I need to do that. And let me give you the measurements. Um, I used my envelope punch board. You could buy envelopes or whatever, but that's what I used. Um, and I made envelopes using the biggest envelope used a seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter square. The next size used six and three quarters by six and three quarters, and the small one was six by six. And that that'll be in the cutting guide. But just get that out of the way. Which I decide how I want to cut that little triangle. If I just want to mark it and cut it by hand, a ruler on these because these are longer. Okay. And I'm going to ink these. All right. And I didn't ink that one in her fold. I wonder if I should. Probably I should. and uh, glue the edges let me slide this over of these shut And that 
one. Ew, I'm wondering if I feel like I maybe needed to put more glue. I guess that's fine. And the last one. Okay, so now these need to go on here in a stack. And the way this works is this, this one is going to go a little bit towards the top. This one is going to be angled on top of it. And then this one is going to be angled on top of that. And these each are going to be glued to the flap of the previous one. And maybe about there. And I think what I want, because I don't really want to use a magnet, so I feel like I might need some seam binding underneath this. Let me cut a piece, a pretty long piece. All right, so if that's how they are, This could tie them shut. Okay, so first thing is gonna to be to attach this, this seam binding to the back of this envelope. Oops. Just hang on, probably off camera. This is so large. Okay. All right, so I just put a piece of tape right on the back vertically. And then we're just going to put the seam binding there. Okay. So I want it near the top, but not. Oh, that's not very much in the middle, is it? Hang on. Get that straightened out a little bit. There we go. The reason we're putting it a little to the top is to give these room to sort of cascade down the page. So I am going to... Well, I'm just going to measure. So about one and a half inches down from the top is where we want this one. So I think, just to get this ribbon out of the way, I'm going to tie it for now. centered and you could use tape for this I'm just going to use glue and you could put this down as a pocket if you wanted just not put any glue there you know just glue there however I'm going to, do this. I'm going to turn this around so that I can see my measurement this side to side, give or take, centered, and down about one and a half. I think that's pretty good. One half, one half, and one and a half. Okay. And we can open this. When you put these down, just 
burnishing this to make sure it's glued. I think I might need a little more on the corners. Maybe not. Feels pretty good. Okay. All right, so the next one is going to go on. I think I said I was going to do it that way. It's going to be glued to only this flap. Plus, when you put this down, you need to make sure that no part of this is above this top fold. Okay? Because if it is, you won't be able to open it. I think that's pretty good. I just I don't want it hanging over either side as well. So I am just gonna go in here and put down a little glue and put that there. Okay. So then this will lift up. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to angle it in the other direction. And again, we're going to make sure that no part of it is sticking up above there. Make sure you only have glue on the flap. I'm sorry you can't see it from the angle of my camera, but I'm just putting it on the flap, or in this case, this flap. Then we can tie them to keep them closed. So I have this band aid on my thumb, just making things a little awkward. Okay, so we'll trim that later. So there's our stack. I think it looks good. You'll untie it have something in this pocket, lift it up, have something in this pocket, lift that one up, and have something in that pocket. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So I think that completes everything we had to do on this one except for the back cover. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's trim these. Okay. That is cute. I like that. Okay. Back cover, which I'm going to have to stand it up to do because of those roses. Alright. So this one I'm going to cut how wide? I think I'll go six and a quarter. That's a little narrow, but I want some of that rice paper to show. So six and a quarter by eight and three eighths. And I am using this. So let me cut that. Okay. I think that is going to be fine. Go ahead and ink it. see it a little bit okay so I'm gonna put that like that that looks nice I am happy with that binding ribbon is 
nice and flat and straight. Line it up nicely with your uh, top and bottom of your rice paper. There we go. I think that looks good. All we have left to do on this one are um, the inserts and maybe a little interior embellishing because we still have quite a few of the die cuts we might want to use some of those. I do not know why I have the worst time tying bows on camera. Okay so there's that. Let's pull the little one over and I'll show you where we're at with that. So what I've done on this one is I added just some of that gold glitter ribbon, gold and silver glittery ribbon, um, the same way we did on the front cover, but on this one I just did little uh, banner shapes instead of loops. So for this one, we also have to do the back cover, and we have to do that inside pocket. And I want to show you what I've got here for the inside pockets. Now this... Um, this is not going to be the mat, I don't think, but I just wanted to test it. So this is the Graphic 45, here it is, folder die. This one, okay? So I made, I just cut out four of these from the navy, and they're going to be my side pocket inserts. And what this is was my test for how to do the mat, um, which turned out to be very easy. So let me go ahead and put this back in. Like that. And then in order to make the mat, and I'll show you when I get to it, I'll do one. I just used the die, put it down on my um, paper, and then just traced it with a pencil along the inside and cut it out, and that gave me a perfect mat. Okay, so there's that. Now we need to do here the... Um, pocket. And let me grab my corner rounder because I can see it needs it. And this one, um, I wanted to use this side even though the text is going this way. I just like the way it looks and I'm going to go with it. I mean, I could have used this, but I feel like we've just got a lot of that, and that's what's going on the back as well, so we are going this way. And check it. that one. And this one I'm not doing that um, continuous design. This is the back cover. I'm using that piece. Usually with my mini albums, I do a lot of inserts, and tags, and things, but I may not do quite so many on this album, these albums, because I don't think I'm going to have a lot of paper left. I might. You never know. I'm always a little 
nervous when I get to this stage how much I'm going to have left, especially when I'm doing two albums. Normally with this amount of paper I do one. Oh, I forgot to ink that. Oh, well, it's a dark piece. It should be fine. centered at all. I think it's stuck down too far. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do anything to it. Okay. So there's that. And then we need our back cover, which I am going to cut four and a quarter by six and three eighths. Is that right? Four and a quarter by six and three eighths. Yes. And I am using the same paper that we used for the large album. Lining it up with my rice paper. Okay. There we go. Oh, goodness, is an obnoxious trunk over there? I think it was the UPS man this time of day he usually comes. Okay, there's that. Oh, hey, Charlie. Okay, now, so this one is done. We have to map the side pocket inserts, but for this one, we have the same page where the envelopes went in the large album, but I don't think I'm going to do that in the small album. I just think they'd be too tiny. Uh, I'm thinking I might just leave this page because it's a good size to put a photo in this book. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave this because we've got the fancy going on with the side pocket inserts. I don't think I need anything right there. Um, so we're just going to leave that. So both of these are now done except for inserts, side pocket inserts, a little bit of embellishing, that kind of thing. So let me put this. This tie is way too long, but I'll trim it later. 
Okay. I don't know how long this video is. How long have we been recording? Just over half an hour. All right, so let's stop here. Let's make this a nice short video. And then the next video will probably be really long because we'll be doing all of, I hope, all of the inserts and decorations and finishing up both of these books. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you next time and we will finish up with Sea Dream. Bye-bye.